So when offering electrolytes to calves, there's three different options that we can use to deliver the electrolytes to the animal. The first of those would be through a bucket. So get the calf standing and she can drink her electrolyte solution through a bucket as she would uh, her milk replacer if she was a bucket fed calf. The second option would be through a nipple bottle. So pouring the electrolyte solution in a nipple bottle and allowing her to suck until the solution is gone. Um, in some cases, uh, a calf will be too weak or too ill to be able to get up to drink from a bottle or will have no motivation to suck down the electrolytes from a nipple bottle. So in those cases we have to use what's called an esophageal tube feeder. So this here is an esophageal tube feeder. You can see the solution is down below in this container and then there's this tube here which will go into the esophagus of a dairy calf and it's very important when feeding with an esophageal tube that the liquid does not go into the trachea and then into the lungs of the animal and that truly is the most important part to consider uh, to keep the animal safe and to get it back to being a, a healthy calf. So once the calf is standing uh, or in an upright position it can be sometimes be helpful to bring in an extra person to hold a calf still when tubing with an esophageal tuber. Uh, now for the purposes of this video this is a healthy calf so we are not going to be tubing her. She does not need electrolytes nor will she take an esophageal tube very easily. Um, so for demonstration purposes we're not going to tube but uh, if she was an ill calf and wouldn't suck or drink out of a bottle then the first thing we would do when tubing uh, electrolytes would be to pinch off the top of the tube just like this and this is to ensure that when the tube is going down the throat of the calf uh, nothing spills over into the mouth of the calf or into the trachea which would then end up in the lungs and could possibly drown the calf or cause an infection. So what I would do when feeding uh, an esophageal tube to a calf would be to slowly push it in the left side of the mouth. The esophagus of a calf is on the left side, their trachea is on the right side. So we want to make sure this green ball of the tube stays on the left side. Uh, once it's in the mouth, we can follow it down and we'll end up with what would look like this, but on the inside uh, of the calf's throat on the left side or of her esophagus. Uh, once this tube is in, we can feel this green ball here down uh, right on the chest here. If we were to pull this up and down, we'd be able to feel this green ball and that lets us know that yes, it's in fact in the esophagus, it's not in the trachea and at that point we lift the bucket there or the bottle and the electrolytes will flow into the stomach of the animal.